Hello, Scott here, Scott America Motorman Robotics. Today we're going to take a look at another convenient function in our uh, DX100 system. And we're going to use this function for speed change. So any of you programmers out there know that it can be very time consuming to go through and change speeds one line at a time. Well, with the DX100 system, we can do the speed changes as a batch. So I'm going to go into my programming pendant. I'm going to make sure that I'm in teach mode. And now that I'm in teach mode, I'm going to cursor down and I'm going to cursor over to the instruction side of the job. From the instruction side of the job, I'm going to edit my menu area and I'm going to go to speed change. Now in the speed change, I see some settings. So I can define the starting line number and the ending line number of what I want to change, or I can change everything in the job as a batch. I also have here a no confirm, and if I press select, that'll toggle that to confirm. The two differences are the confirm allows me to pick which lines I want to change the speed on in my job. The no confirm is an instantaneous change of the batch. All lines in the job of that motion type will change. So now my next area here is speed kind. Now my speed kind, if I select that, I can see the speeds that are available to me to change. I can change my VJ speeds or my velocity of joint speeds. I can change my V speeds, my velocity speeds. I can change my VRs, velocity of rotation. I can also change my VEs, velocity of external axis. Now I also have another one that I can do a relative speed change. We're just going to work with the VJ speeds. And I can see that now I can set my speed that I want to change them to. I'm going to press select, and I'm going to say I want to change those speeds to 15%. Now I'm doing the confirm, so when I press execute, my cursor is flashing on that first speed. And we'll say I don't really want to change my home speed, but I want to change the next line after it. I cursor down and press enter, and that speed changes. I want to change the next one, enter. That speed changes. I'm going to cursor down multiple lines, press enter. Speed changes. Enter again. Speed changes. So I'm allowed to change these whichever line I want to do. I'll also notice in my message area, that it's displaying that I am currently modifying speeds. So I'm going to cursor all the way down to the bottom of the job. I'm going to change the last move. When I change the last move, my message goes away. Now you can also end editing of speeds by pressing the cancel key. So cancel will allow me to change that. Let's go in here to our speed change one more time. So I need to be on the instruction side of my job. And I'm going to go edit, change speed, and again in my change speed menu, now I'm going to select no confirm. Now because it defaulted back to that, I didn't have to change it. And I'm going to set my speeds in the whole job back to 25%. I'm going to execute, and when I execute all lines in my job that had a velocity of joint speed, are now at 25%. Batch speed changing, DX100. Thank you.